like me playing in a keyboard for the first time. When I buy a new keyboard, I just do these kind of things. The batteries are dying. Oh, yeah, that's your hand just pushing yeah. down. <laughs> cool. Man, this does a lot of cool sounds. Wow. What other so um, sounds uh, does it make? Excuse me. Uh, Rachel, uh, excuse me. Uh, what, are your, uh, what are your specials today? Oh, that's one of those ones that I need. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Rachel, uh, excuse me. Uh, what it's are your pre programmed uh, with your voices. Today? All right, let's go to the very, very heavy, uh, heavy vertation tonight. This we is had auditory a terrorism. All right, let's go to the pet. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I but like your it. keyboard is so cool. Feels like Billie Eilish would put this out. Dude, this is totally the soundtrack of some 1980s horror. Yeah, it's like a sci-fi horror. Yeah, and there's like punk characters in it. Yeah. No sleeves, <clears throat> lots of piercings. So they just, they're all fake. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, uh, for sure. George Clooney's in it. Yeah, they're all 46 playing 17. Yeah. A very, very heavy, uh, heavy rotation. It's still going. Wow, I remember when I got Fruity Loops for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Some people just want to watch the world burn. Holy crap. I'm, okay. I'm, do you, are you not one of those people? I Ooh. loved that. Oh, yeah. I loved every minute of it. I loved that. I loved every that. one minute and 42 seconds of it. I'm a little affected emotionally. Oh, nice. That was created by a user named Drake James Seven. <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Drake James Satan. That's what the seven actually means. And it's, Satan Drake is my favorite rapper. The <laughs> artist's name is Billy Shakes. Okay. And it's just called What Are Your Specials Today? And it's specials? based off of that episode with the when we were listening to the newswoman yeah. that, that <laughs> her got that weird migraine that made her brain scram what a day. scramble. <laughs> do you not know what this is? I don't know Sage. what this is. I'm so oh, sorry. Man. Okay, hold on. We'll 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 you do it up. Bring we'll it do up. it again, but hang on. First, let's do a proper here. Okay. Welcome to the Valley Cast. Hello. Yes. Um thank you for that intro submission, Billy Shakes. If you would like to do an intro yourself. Do that and submit it at r slash the valley folks. When he says Reddit. do that, I mean like you have to recreate the exact do the exact song. Yeah, you have yes. to try and the imitate only those exact sounds. Type that we will play. <laughs> we uh we love and appreciate intro submissions okay. for the Valley Cast nice. on this program, and uh, we love it. So please keep doing that on our on our subreddit. Someone actually posted a thing recently that was like, where do I put them? Mm -hmm. And you put them in the subreddit r slash it's uh, reddit.com slash r slash the valley folk and we'll find them nice. and we'll Simple. play them anyway so before we get into the <laughs> the reporter again okay uh which i'm proper. totally fine with doing every single episode Perfect. if possible why don't you take um, a second and drop a proper let me tell you here's a proper are you ready for this yeah, ready. today's proper. special guest Ooh, it's getting on proper. the valley cast Ooh. is none other than Ms. Sage Ryan. Oh, hello. Proper. Wait, that's me. I'm the proper. You're the proper. Oh, I wasn't ready to be the proper. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Are hello. you ready to be the improper? Yes. Very ready to be the improper. Welcome to the um, new show, Properly Brothers. Sage, okay. you, you like, were not on my radar at all. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then, <laughs> no, but then one day you were on my radar. Yeah. And then I realized that you were friends with almost everybody I know. Yeah. And you've worked with a lot of people I've worked with. Yeah. And you probably know a lot of people Joe knows probably. also. Maybe. And um I don't know. our lives have circled each other yeah. and now our Venn diagram has finally so, yeah. overlapped. Now let me make that intro even more proper uh -huh. and even more better. Uh -huh. Sage, I don't know you at all. Yeah. <laughs> and, Perfect. Uh, what are you doing in here? This is the first time we've interacted in any ever. way. I snuck into your office. Thank you. For Have you doing ever done so. that? I've only ever done that with snuck the guy. into someone's office? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you ever snuck into someone's office? <laughs> no, have you ever sat down? down? Sneaky Tuesdays are my favorite day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you ever? I love eating at Sneaky Tuesdays. Uh, it's the great. best special. <laughs> never appetizers gets... only. Yeah, and you yeah, never yeah. know when the food's going to be delivered. And you'll be looking this way, and then you look over. And your food's on your plate, <laughs> yep. they're and they're rooms. like, "That's what we do." Like, at how did that Tuesdays. get there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, 
Uh, have you ever done a podcast where you're like you don't know the person who you're doing yeah, I it think with? We've done a couple. I think we've done it. A we couple did it with Michael times. Reeves. We barely Michael, Michael. Reeves yeah. and also Elliot's Elliot Irish roommate. Oh, Elliot Morgan. Irish. Irish Elliot Morgan. That went weird. Elliot <laughs> eyelash. <laughs> but uh, Sage Ryan. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. No, let me finish. Okay, I sure. don't know you. <clears throat> no, you don't know me at all. Um, so well, that's what I was going to say. Let's, let's introduce. Would you introduce me or yourself to me? Introduce me. <laughs> introduce <laughs> all right, this is Joe. This is Sage. Sage, this um, is Joe. To me, and give a, give me like the, oh, we're interviewing you on a show. Tell the viewers who you are type of like, Oh, perfect. Everybody in Los Angeles rundown. loves an elevator pitch. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Sage. Hi, Sage. Uh, I am an actor and internet streamer. Um, I, I grew up in the entertainment industry doing more just traditional film and media. And oh, then cool. um, at some point, my um, both self-esteem and uh, lack of uh, sh- like shame and pride allowed me to start making internet content. Good job. Uh, I'm, I'm a streamer. I stream just join on the Twitch. Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One day I was like, no, nah, I, think, I think I'm okay with embarrassing I myself on the I internet for a living. I myself. I think so. I should become a streamer. What is this thing called the internet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, my, my mother wasn't going to be proud If you anyways. hate yourself, there's only a couple of things you can be. A you pro wrestler. You can be a pro wrestler <laughs> or... <laughs> A streamer. Yeah, yeah. Or a live streamer. A video streamer. game streamer. We yeah, have yeah, two worlds that are equally angry coming at us right now. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. one might be more violent than the other, and you might not know it which might, one it is. It might not be the one you think. It might not be the one you think. I was too short to be a wrestler. Uh, I saw I saw an Onion article this morning, or I can't remember if it was Onion or who, but it was like, surgeon thankful his, he could turn his hobby into a career. <laughs> Best. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how it feels. Yeah, I mean, I think that the thing with like uh, moving into live streaming is because you're live for such extended periods of time, like you just say everything. Mm-hmm. And it gets to a point where they're like, well, there's nothing the internet doesn't know about me anymore. Yep. If you just leave me by myself in a room in front of a camera for three hours, like the filter is going to disappear at some point. You're going to run out of things to that's talk about when that you are like get... things you want to talk about, and you're going to talk about things you don't want to talk about. And that's like when you get the those like rare, the few but amazing streams where like someone falls asleep or like <laughs> someone fell asleep once I had a I had a <laughs> <laughs> it's the best, or they forget they're streaming and they get into an argument yep. with their girlfriend yeah. or something. Yeah, get too comfortable. I or they to- leave it on and like the bad stuff happens. Oh, yeah, later. haven't done one yeah. of those yet. I'm very, very glad. But you, but I you have a sleeping to- story. Okay, I used to do a stream from two to four o'clock in the morning because so I don't drink. But the closest you'll ever get to me being drunk is me in the middle of the night, like just yeah, just yeah. unfiltered. You get, you get the giggles, you get, and the wacky. You get the giggles drunk. and the wackies, and I was yeah. like, screw it, like let's let's make an attempt to have a more honest conversation. I believe that's Rich. called fatigue. Yes, you say. Yes. You should look. Yeah, yeah. So I take myself to a point of fatigue, and just as you're right about at the point where you feel like you're going to black out, you do a live stream instead. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So I'd stream from Jesus. two to four a.m. I, I mean, <laughs> I can't even comprehend no, it. Thank you. I would have guests on, and I was having a guest on, and they had a friend staying with them, and she was also like an internet content creator. So we're like, screw it, come and hang out as well. We'll just hang out on the live stream. And she fell asleep like 15 minutes into this two-hour stream. <laughs> uh, oh, what and was she, she doing? Uh, like she she was just like sitting in a chair, and she just felt like I think she was a little bit drunk too. Like we had come back from going out, and she. Just <laughs> drunk passed out and we were like I feel like I, this feels violating on our part to just like leave like, the live stream on and be like we're gonna keep talking last night. Hey, everyone on the internet that's people watching us watched you sleep last yeah. night <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm a, I, I do a live stream. I do a couple of shows with a network called SideQuest. We do like event coverage. I do a show called Second Breakfast where we eat cereal and talk about video games. Uh, basically, I'm I'm a nerd for a living. So did the nerd <laughs> Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, yeah, cut it quick. That's this it. is in front they, of a live they, audience. They're a very fickle audience. That's yeah. fair. That's they're fair. They're live and fickle. I got more than I was expecting. Filmed in front of a fickle audience. Not just some 1980s <laughs> sitcom. <laughs> Filmed in front of an indifferent audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Heard it. I'll give you two. I'll give you two. Uh, um, yeah, it's just okay. this. Yeah. <laughs> That's the indifferent audience. That's it. It's like that. Kramer walks into the door. Bam. I oh, want to talk yeah. to you about so many things, yeah, yeah. but I also want to say that I respect your hustle oh. a lot. Oh, thank you. Like I your, res- your 400 meter time is outstanding. <laughs> yeah. I come along, uh, sorry, I respect your hurdle. <laughs> 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 but oh, I yeah. respect your hustle because I don't, I could never do it, man. I get to a level of fatigue where you're just not going to get anything out of me. Yeah. And you don't want to just watch me be fatigued. You're and talking th- there's live no interest. Stream, yeah, yeah, You're yeah. talking. Well, no, I'm talking. I guess I'm kind of talking, talking about, about the meter race. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't run the whole time. <laughs> yeah. 
I thought we were talking about how I clapped like a do- like like you were a dog when you came into the Absolutely office. Absolutely, what today. just happened? Um, no, I just I um you in in the few times that we've gotten to hang out and work together mm-hmm. and do stuff. What I found out about you is is that you are a uh, Catholic. No, uh, is that you are <laughs> <laughs> my Jewish mother is at home. Like what? <laughs> No, you are. Um, you work very hard, and you don't stop. Yeah, yeah, I work a lot. Yeah, I get worried about my friends that Aww. do that. Oh, and uh, like, and and there's a lot of talk about it lately about like taking breaks. Yeah, and, and about like hustle that. culture and things hustle like that. Culture. That's definitely like it, uh, it's a big thing for millennials to be a part of hustle culture. Without uh, revealing or asking your age, I'm assuming she's, she's a little 19, bit more yeah. youthful than us. I'm 14. And, and she has that. <laughs> definitely has that youthful age. I'm 14 years old. Yeah, her mom's Damn. out in the. No, no, it's yeah. fine. I'm, I'm 24. Sure. I'm, 20. I'm, I'm, it's not a secret. Well, you it's got fine. That, the you internet got that knows. Super youthful. You got that genetic hustle. <laughs> Am still. I younger than you thought I was? Uh, yeah. What's the yeah. right answer? Yes, yeah, fine. Yes, yeah, not offensive. No, way. actually, I don't. I, I honestly didn't know. You never know in this industry. You, you know really what I don't. mean about it, Sage? No, absolutely. Do you know I what I mean? I know I exactly what you mean, Steve. I remember when I was twenty-four Steve. and I could live stream at two in the freaking morning. There's <laughs> no way now. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I think I've, you I think it. I've run out of it. I don't do two to four a.m. anymore. I can't do it. And, mm-hmm. and now I get up and do shows in the morning. So that was when I was just streaming on my own channel. But now that I'm doing shows on other channels, they for some reason let me host a morning show as like the person who streamed until four o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. usually. So I can't do that anymore. Did yeah. you lose an audience when you stopped streaming that early? Not really, honestly. A lot of people were just like, wow, I get a lot of sleep now. I was like, did you stay up just, I'm so but sorry. There's I a just, couple of people in the UK that I think that's like, what I was like, gonna say. I never yeah. kept your stream anymore, but there's VODs so they can watch that. Yeah. Some loud people in the UK that don't like it when we stream at our times. Yeah. No, I mean, but, but like, you know, we, uh, we're running a business here, mm-hmm. and we got we have so much going on. Um, For sure. And uh, you know, I have children. You have children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One's in the yeah. other room right now. One's just in the other doing room. whatever he's doing. I'm actually Steve's child. <laughs> yes. Um. This is my daughter Sage. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I, I want to say it. Yeah. Fuck! I wish we could redo this, this whole thing and be say like. It. Guys, I uh, I reconnected with my daughter, and <laughs> yeah. here she is on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Every time you guys have heard me uh, make wow. uh, absentee dad jokes on my stream, it was it's about, about Steve. Me. <laughs> Holy crap. You know, if you, and every time I talk about how much I hate children, it's because of Sage. Dude, exactly. If, if you were like the cool kid in eighth grade, and you were the first one having the unprotecteds, and yeah. you made an axe. Which was a cool in its own way. <laughs> that literally, you could be her dad. Like, that's the age There's difference. a world where you could be my, where I could be her dad? Yeah, because yeah. you're 37. 37. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 24 so man, maybe a little I mean there's it's, some it's kids like, that have engaged I mean how old would I have had to I've, have been you would have been 13 yeah that's not happening <laughs> when I was 13 I had my well, el- I was elbow deep in a bag of Funyuns playing Q-Bert <laughs> yeah, that's what you called her vagina <laughs> Don't talk about let mom me, like that. Let Steve. me it get in that bag of Funyuns, baby. <laughs> I had a my on, Don't one your arm was elbow me. deep in Funyuns. The other one had two or three Ninja Turtle figures in one hand, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. and I was doing my best to skip. And you were balls deep. <laughs> I was trying to learn how to skip. Ew. Oh. No, were you guys popular? No. Like, what were you? That was what you were like at thirteen. I mean, I, like at 13? I, I, I got a little. Excuse me. This is about me now. Okay, I'll uh, shut up. Steve. I got. Excuse me. Everyone, shut it, or I'll turn your mic off. <laughs> Uh, I, excuse me, I'll talk about me for a second. Please. I didn't get like quote unquote popular mm-hmm. until like the end of freshman year, early sophomore year. Okay. And by popular, I mean the drama kids and the goth kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which were unpopular. Yeah, yeah. So I was popular with the unpopular kids. Yeah, yeah. that's wh- that's where I got now. I just yeah. now got there. How does that feel? You're popular yeah. with the unpopular. I'm, well, you're I'm, a senior yeah, yeah. in high school now. Exactly. So. Yeah. As a senior in high school, it's what really just. What college are you going to go to? Uh, you know, I, I was I was thinking I'd take a gap year and think about it. Mm. That's wonderful. Some the kids say you should get into a trade. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. What kind of trade do you see for me? Like baseball cards. Oh, baseball cards. <laughs> Perfect. Or I was gum. thinking Pokemon. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, that's exactly why I wasn't cool in, uh, in when I was thirteen. I was thinking Pokemon. <laughs> what did I say? My favorite Digimon, Digimon was yesterday I on a stream. Know. It was really good. <laughs> I can't remember. It was like tuberculosis or something. <laughs> no. Whatever. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I was not at all cool. I was homeschooled. Oh uh, man, you're I was, one of those. I was a full out loser homeschool kid. No way. Yeah. The homeschool the homeschool kids always be the interesting ones. Here's later the thing. On. I you're know. Interesting. I know. Because you're homeschooled. I know a few homeschooled kids, mm-hmm. and I was homeschooled for a. 
grade in high school. Okay. I was I was homeschooled for like my sophomore year. Is it because you were is it because you were misbehaving? I hated school. Yeah. I hated it. And, oh, your and, mommy was giving you some mom love. And mm. my teachers were like, get this kid out of our class. Mm. Cause I was just like a fucking piece of shit i was an asshole i was like making fake fart sounds and fake sneeze sounds you and were shit. a distraction yeah but it was like, like you. <laughs> i was a distraction yeah. yeah and my mom was like have patience please and they're like no <laughs> and then uh yeah and so she pulled me into into homeschool and i got to do that and i was like and then all of my like my grades forever have been like d minus mm-hmm. c plus is the Ooh, highest and then I got into homeschool, and that whole semester was A's. Yeah. And they were, and but they were like, yeah, but you're not like sick, you know, or like you don't have like a broken leg, right. and you don't have, you don't like you don't have a reason. Yeah. So they were like, we're gonna send you back, and I was like, well, don't you see though that like this works it's not better. working for me, right? Yeah. And then I proceeded to continue to fail until I dropped out <laughs> of high school. Yeah. Aww. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think the difference was with your mom? What do you think it was? What do you mean? Like, oh, my mom wasn't my teacher. Oh, I actually teacher? had there was an art teacher that did homeschooling at my high school, and we got her oh. to be my homeschool Dude, teacher. That was your uncle in a That's wig. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder she had. A it's like when Santa mustache. comes to the Christmas parties. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Your uh, uncle was also Santa at the Christmas the party. Carry the two, me <laughs> Wow, Mrs. Morgan, you're, you're, <laughs> yeah, your voice exactly. is so, so low. Yes, mijo, you're doing great. Uh, I love you. I'll what? See, see you later tonight at dinner. <laughs> see you at Thanksgiving. <laughs> what? Wait, okay, now what, for real though, what was the, what do you think the difference was? What What helped you? Oh, I just was, so I was distracted in school, in class, and they were distracted by my distractions. Well, I just didn't want to be there. Yeah. I just didn't want to, I just, I looked outside and was like, I want to be outside. Or I thought about like a sketch I wanted to make and you I wanted to do that. You saw a tree and you're like, or, I don't want to climb that but I want to be by it. But I want to be by it, yeah. Mm. I just didn't want, I just couldn't do school. I just couldn't do it. It just wasn't for me. And so when I didn't have distractions and when I was focused, I was like, oh, I'm actually like learning shit. Yeah. Because nothing was distracting me and nothing was like there for me. And it excited you, I bet too, because I've seen- It was awesome, I see you. I know when you get like- Educational on your ass, yeah. And like you'll you will dive oh, 100% yeah. into something to learn it. I've oh seen yeah, it yeah. All the time, yeah, yeah. It's just got to be interesting to me. Yeah. Oh. yeah, and I think it's hard too, like because you come across as like a, a decently social person, like I'm you engage super with people social, quickly. Yeah. Uh, put and that it was, on his resume. Yeah, yeah. It just says super decently social. Decently social. <laughs> decently social. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was supposed to say super SoCal, but <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> why? Because he says hella too much. Very super yeah. SoCal. <laughs> he, just says, he just says hella, and that's it. <laughs> He said dank once at a party and everyone responded once. well, yeah, yeah. so he's a hella SoCal. <laughs> Three people laughed when I said <laughs> dank at a party once. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like that would have been the same thing for me in high school. So I went to public school for just kindergarten and first grade, and I was homeschooled for everything after that. But anytime we would have to go in for testing or anything, I was so like excited to have the people around me that I couldn't focus on it because I would be like, oh, look at all these yeah, kids. That's what yeah, I'm, that, that was see me. what's going on over here. People that are like me, holy crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I also, I might have also just been deprived of social interaction with other children. Yeah, I was around adults a lot. I was around adults a lot since I was a kid. <laughs> so like getting to be around other children, a I would get like nervous because I would be like, all right, gotta be cool to the kids. What's it like being a kid? Yeah, okay, okay, here I we don't go. want to be a kid. And let's talk about trees, rocks, trees, trees and rocks. Trees? Well, it you depends guys, on you where guys, you grew up. And you guys into trees? You guys I grew like up bugs? in Southern California. Yeah, yeah, kids like bugs, right? Right, and kids. then I would say that, and it didn't go yeah. over well. <laughs> you guys like bugs? <laughs> Hello, Shit. fellow kid. You like bugs? <laughs> 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 Hello, fellow non-adults. <laughs> no, it's true. I also don't have a job. <laughs> hey, everybody. One time I saw a frog. Does anybody want to talk to me television. about it? <laughs> How about that dark, frightening, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, nightlights. Uh. Am I right? Uh, yeah, or I would get distracted by music. Like, uh, I couldn't uh, listen to music on the way to school in the morning because the songs would just play in my head and I couldn't focus Whoa. on schoolwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... Didn't you say... Are you the one that said you have, like, a song that's stuck in your head from when you were a kid or something? <laughs> Is this no. your thing? I hate that I said that in front of you. Oh, yeah, you did uh, say that, didn't you? Oh, man, I don't know if I've ever said it on the internet. Oh, okay, we don't have no, to talk No, I know it. it's fine. This you is great. You guys, it? Do you okay. know about this, Joe? No, is it a good song? Well, well, how did it come up? Like, 
there's no way we'll ever okay no, I have no idea how it came up I think it was do you have oh, a song oh, oh, oh. that default like your brain if there's no other music that you've heard that day and there's not another song that you've heard recently that your brain just defaults yeah. back to playing in your head for the head. longest time it was this is a great sax, topic Sage it was the sax my riff now. from Careless Whisper what? oh and <laughs> always in my head as a child growing oh up. Yeah. it's funny that that was it as a child mine mm. is just I, I love I've always loved music like mm. when I was a kid I wanted the Gremlins 2 soundtrack <laughs> for Christmas cute like I just love it I love music scores I love soundtracks I love I went through this whole nerdy soundtrack phase and I'm, I'm still, still kind of there yeah but, same you know. feeling but like soundtracks... I have the Skyrim set on vinyl <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I mean, it's just that soundtracks aren't, I mean, you know, whatever, I, we could go on and on about it. Soundtracks but, are the fabric of our lives. Th- th- absolutely. They're the backbone <laughs> of America. We'll be right back. Ah, oh, jeez, everybody, it's me, your pal John Travolta, and I'm here to do some ads for the Valley Folk. They're my good friends. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, they're good friends. You ever seen Grease? Hey everybody, this winter, why don't you start a new routine to upgrade your everyday life with a monthly box of awesome from Bespoke Post. Ah, jeez, Grease. Bespoke Post sends guys only the best stuff every month. Every month. So whether you're looking to commemorate an occasion with a champagne saber or toast perfectly aged winter cocktails. Ah, jeez. Box of Awesome has you covered, from style and grooming goods to barware, cooking tools, and outdoor gear. Box of Awesome has carefully built collections for every part of your life. Oh, jeez, uh, Battlefield Earth. To get started, why don't you take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Super easy stuff, Achis. Your answers will help them pick the right box of awesome for you at Delta Seam. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories, Cheese. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel any time. Each box costs only 45 bucks. Team, but has over $70 worth of gear inside. Wickedly awesome box of awesome. So to get you 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com, enter the code VALLEYCAST at checkout. That's boxofawesome.com, oh jeez. Code VALLEYCAST for 20% off your first box. That's right, 20% off your first box. It's wickedly awesome. Thank you so much, Box of Awesome, and thank you to the Valley cast. Hey, everybody, I'm a piece of bread, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Stitch Fix. That's right, Stitch Fix. You know, even though I'm a piece of bread, I would describe my style as somewhere between awesome and just okay. But listen, Stitch Fix has expert personal stylists that can help you look your best. Personal style is like a fingerprint. Everybody has their own except me because I'm bread. Whatever your style, the expert stylists at Stitch Fix are ready to help you express yourself. Not all clothes are fit for everyone, did you know that? Did you know bread can't wear clothes? With Stitch Fix, your personal stylist will send you clothing that makes you look your best. Less one size fits all and more like this fits your style. Except Fred. So guys, Stitch Fix is an online personal styling service that delivers your favorite clothing brands right to your door. So to get started, go to stitchfix.com slash valley. Almost screwed that up because I'm Fred. Go to stitchfix.com. Slash Valley, answer some questions about your preferred style, and your personal shopper will ship you a box of clothes, shoes, and accessories. And with Stitch Fix, everyone can look their best. They have solutions for men, women, and kids all over the U.S. and now the U.K., but not bread because bread, you know, it's, we, we've been through this. There's no commitment required, and you only pay for what you keep. Shipping, exchanges, and returns are always 
always free, plus the $20 styling free is automatically applied towards anything you keep from your box. Ain't that nice? I'm a piece of bread. You'll never have to think about looking good again with Stitch Fix, huh? So why don't you get started today at stitchfix.com slash valley and get an extra 25% off when you keep everything in your box. That's stitchfix.com slash valley. Stitchfix.com slash valley. I'm a piece of bread. Hello, everybody. It's me, Elliot Morgan, stand-up comedian extraordinaire and totally still person that is part of the Valley Folk. Hey, are you unhappy with your smile? Tired of feeling self-conscious in photos, maybe? Hey, why not make this year the year you straighten your teeth with Candid? Candid delivers clear aligners directly to you and straightens your teeth for thousands less than braces. Unlike braces, Candid Clear aligners are comfortable, removable, and totally invisible. Not like me, I'm totally here, all the time. So you can transform your smile without anyone noticing a thing. Plus, you never have to set foot in a doctor's office or waiting room. Oi! Your treatment is prescribed and monitored remotely by a licensed orthodontist, and that is nice. Unlike other companies, Candid only works with orthodontists. Never general dentists. With other remote clear aligner options, you may never hear from a doctor at all as you go through your treatment. That means your treatment will be designed by an expert in tooth movement. I am not an expert in tooth movement. I am a member of the Valley Folk still, clearly, I promise. With Candid, not only will your treatment be designed by an experienced orthodontist, but it also includes remote monitoring by the same orthodontist throughout, kind of like me. I'm remotely monitoring the Valley Folk and totally still part of it. So you're never gonna have to wonder how everything's going because your orthodontist will be able to keep an eye on your treatment from anywhere, like Hawaii or Stonehenge. <laughs> Looking ahead to wedding season or special event? With Candid, the average treatment length is just six months and you'll start seeing results way before then. Learn more about Candid's process and get a complimentary 3D scan of your teeth at a Candid studio near you. It's the simplest, freest way to get started. So, are you ready to take the first step towards straighter teeth? For a limited time, you can get started with $75 off using code VALLEYCAST at candidco.com slash VALLEYCAST. That's candidco.com slash VALLEYCAST. Use code VALLEYCAST for $75 off. Candidco.com slash VALLEYCAST Code Valley Cast. My name is Elliot Morgan. Look at this smile. It would have been better if I had Candid when I was a kid, but I didn't. I had those. Oh, back to the podcast. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, back to the podcast. Yes, I'm Elliot. I'm Elliot. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Elliot. No, I'm Elliot Morgan. No, I'm here. I'm really here. I'm Elliot. I'm a nightmare. Back to the Valley Cast. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Press a <the> button. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wait. That works. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway. I wasn't ready. Um, so that's for a completely different podcast. Oh, Perfect. God. We got to start. Uh, so. Um, Why did it just say come? It was E.T. <laughs> okay. So but you stopped and it just said. Okay. No, that's it. That is all it says. That's the clip. Welcome to the Valley Cast. Perfect. That's <laughs> how you were saying. So. Um, <laughs> Uh, I forgot what you I was saying. You love music. Oh, yeah, I love music so much. And so uh, things would get stuck in my head all the time. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the, the Pee Wee's Big Adventure, like breakfast music, yeah. like the breakfast machine music, and mm -hmm. like uh, Batman Returns and the Batman theme and things like that would kind of flicker around in my head. I'd get a yeah. lot of classical music as well. Like, oh, okay. um, because of um, Cartoons, Looney Tunes and stuff, yeah. would use it constantly. Yeah. And then I, yep, I fell into band and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And we played that. All the time. That's cool. So Hall of the Mountain King. Oh yeah, there's another one that was stuck in my That's head. That's great. One okay, let me play a, it's clip a classy of it. child. Wiki Wild Wild in the Hall of the Mountain King. Uh uh. <laughs> that was it. That was, great that song. was a classy child. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a great song. Yeah. But anyway, um, so as you were saying, there's a uh, song. So there, we don't have to talk about this. No, if you don't and, want. and this is wonderful. Like I said, I've been on the internet long enough that I have very few secrets. Uh, somebody <laughs> that watches my stream might watch this and be like, "Shut up! You told us this at four o'clock in the morning." Two. Uh, no, no, this ago. is a Valley Cast. Yeah. How do you exclusive. keep it? How do you I keep have no it idea. 
track of that. I don't. I absolutely. Well, I tell them all you the time. Though? You know, I tell them all the time. I'm like, you're going to have to tell me if I've said this before. Right. Also, if I say I'm going to do something, you're going to have to remind me. Yeah. It all just like immediately because yeah. I don't have time to think while I'm streaming. So I just yeah. say things sometimes. And I'm like, oh, I did commit myself to doing a really God dumb thing. We used to do a show beast. where we just talked about our lives all day, every mm-hmm. day. And it just was like, you know, and now we're at a point where it's we, we don't have any more stories to tell. We've told yeah. all of our fucking stories. You have to go out and, now and get we're some new stories. Them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go out anymore. Yeah, fair. I've tried to get you to go out. Yeah, it it's work. not working. It doesn't work. Yeah. Um, so but this... if you're going to come here, that works. There we go. All right. That's fine. And I get it. <laughs> And, and then, then you get a dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome to the. Um, so the song that uh, this is the part that I'm not proud of. Of what song it is that my head defaults back to. There always has to be music playing in my head, and it defaults back. Wait, can to, I just play it? Yeah. Do you remember what it is? Yeah. Hang on. I got. Wow. It. Really? Yeah. Yeah. How could I forget? Oh no. <laughs> hang on. Wow. This is since you were a kid. Yeah, so I used to, um, it was a song that like when it came out, it was very popular on the radio and I would have to sing it for auditions when I was a kid. Okay, well, let me, I want to guess. Okay. Give me three guesses. Uh, we're well, taking you a second, so it may be a little bit more obscure. Yeah, yeah. It, Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh. This is not the song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know that song? Yeah. How far is heaven? How far is heaven? I wish that was the song. I would be so much more proud if that was the song. I'm going to go hit me baby one more time. Yes, go ahead. You can guess. Hit me baby one more time. Okay. Uh, You're too young for that? That's probably right around there. Uh, That was my jam. And you're auditioning. Uh Uh-huh. I saw the sign. (laughs) I did sing that for auditions. That's not the song, but oh, there was a time where I did. I, I I'm did on have your to. level. Will yeah, you yeah, tell yeah. us the things you thing. worked on in motion yeah. pictures oh, when you were a kid, or you don't want to talk about that? I mean, we that. can. IMDb is a thing. It's embarrassing. I could pull up your IMDb right um, now. That's you worse, know. I think. Don't be a pervert. Okay, so what was that third guess? <laughs> um, third guess. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I got one that you auditioned with. Um, yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. You're, um, you're getting the time frame really, really right. Um, uh, Melissa Etheridge. Oh wow! Okay, so it was none of those, but I really appreciate. Your message, I actually I feel don't like it says remember. a lot about your first impression of me, and I'm I'm grateful for it. Um, so it was like a little bit later than that. Uh, I was probably like I don't know, maybe ten. I I, I would have to look oh. up when this song came out. It was um it was a neo song. Neo. Neo, who was like you know a thing for oh, forty five yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. It was a song called "So Sick." Uh, if you was- yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing I'm it. pulling it up oh, right now. Of course, he's pulling it up right now. And it literally like I haven't listened to this song by choice in. It's just years. there. Probably, it's just so deeply in yep, there. Yep, I know this one. And it's like yep. it's not a song people listen to anymore. It didn't stay relevant. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What happens, do you think, that make it get stuck in your head? I don't know. Yeah. And I realized, and it's like that that very beginning is do 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 do, and and literally just my brain will go silent, and for just a second, I'll just get do do do, and I'm like, fuck. And I caught myself doing it enough times, and nobody knew about it for years because I didn't really like process that I was doing it. And then one day I was like, ah, that's kind of weird. How long have we been doing that? <laughs> like you have to like check it's in just, with yourself the, a little and be like, how long have I been doing this? Uh, because my best friend noticed it one day and she was like, what is that song you, you always You just hum sing? it all the time. Yes. And I was like, oh no, this is affecting people around me now. It's your humming, it's your, it's your tick, it's your, yeah. Apparently. Wait, you were on Tim and Eric? Oh no. <laughs> you were one of the cheerleaders in the, in the like the rotten meat song or whatever? <laughs> you just or, 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 made or, Steve hang on, hang so on. happy. It's the, uh, it's the uh, uh, all the food is poison or something. Are you in that? The corn, all the food is poison. Don't eat the food, it's poison food. You're yeah. one of the cheerleaders in that? Yeah, that is also one of the things I haven't told the internet. They can find it on IMDb. It's Man. not like it's actually a Two proper secret. Two exclusives on Holy the Valley Cast. Oh, wow. So, so you some... had to talk all about oh, that. Oh, God. I mean, I was little. I was probably like 13 at the time. Um, so and it was a year ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It was exactly <laughs> one year ago on Tim and Eric's awesome show. You're, you must be um, a very happy dad. Yeah. Are you proud? <laughs> He's really proud. I'm so proud. Are you super yeah, yeah. proud? <laughs> Uh, I want to let you know that like no matter how long ago that was uh, yesterday somebody commented on one of my Instagram photos and said all the food is poison and that's wow. it and they went back to a photo wow. that I posted probably seven months ago for no reason so it's not like it was an old enough photo for it to make sense because there couldn't well, you're be on the a woman on the internet they're yeah, yeah. digging through your stuff so they went back to a photo from like seven months ago and just commented all the food is poison and that's it and I'm Dude. gonna be honest with you it was after I appeared on your Instagram story and I'm gonna bet that's your fault wow it might be it was my alt Steve. account <laughs> <laughs> Steve has a what do the, the kids call it a finsta. A f- whoa, whoa, whoa. Have you heard of this? Oh, no. man. Oh, my We're roommate had to teach me about a finsta. A finsta? Yeah, yeah. A finsta is, is a fake Instagram that you use to stalk people without work. them knowing. I for, won't do it. This is for 
a generation I don't belong to. I don't have the time. It feels like same, and I think it might be part of my generation, and well, I can't relate. But I think you're ahead of your generation, right? Like, Maybe do you feel think. like you are? It's the growing up around adults thing. I guess this yeah. is growing up. Yeah. Can I you? Guess this is growing up. Were you? <laughs> Wait, no. Fuck you. We're talking about Tim and Eric well, right now. A oh, okay, I want to know, like, when you did it. <laughs> Because when you act, you just take the jobs, you take the roles, because you always say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, us all about, tell us about being on Tim and Eric while I play this song. Well, you're going to get us. I don't want oh, perfect. I had a wonderful yeah, childhood. I'm so glad we're doing this. I wanna, <laughs> did you understand the humor? No. At and all. So I didn't know what the show was. Hey, uh, Sage, uh, come to the Valley Folk Office so we can torture you. <laughs> hey, 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 you're not at all traumatized from childhood, right? Let's let's do that. Uh <laughs> And don't think we're not going to talk about I Heart Huckabees. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Damn. Oh, can I say that? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, say whatever Great. you want. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, Tim and Eric's Awesome Show is one of the only parts um, in like traditional film and media that I've ever just been offered. That I didn't have to audition for. And it was something that and my agent called and they were like, hey. And I, w- I was like a, a dancer as well growing up. And they were like, hey, they were looking for like kids that dance. They just offered you to be in this thing. And they were like, I don't know, it's some adult swim show. And my mom was like, I don't care. And oh I was like, God. yeah, sure, I don't As know anything. As she took another drag off of the cigarette <laughs> right. and placed it next to her brandy. <laughs> 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 I don't care, do what you want. Yeah, 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 that's exactly what she sounds like. Your it's an incredible mom impression of was my Macaulay Culkin's mom? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You should know, Steve. I should know, yeah, you're you right. You had sex with her and <laughs> made your child sitting with us today. I feel like we just blended the two realities and now it just became that Steve had sex with my mom. Yeah. And I'm like, Comfortable. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> and and, sorry, and I kid, am. I had sex with your mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like all fathers should apologize for that at some point. I feel like you should probably get on that. That's the whole Save thing. The kids. In the uh, dad. in the, the the South Park <laughs> fractured butthole game. <laughs> It's like uh, Cartman keeps making fun of you because he says your superhero backstory is that you (laughs) accidentally walked in on your dad having sex with your mom and he's like, I'm sorry that your dad had sex with your mom. (laughs) Like the whole time he's like giving him shit about it. He's like, go easy on him, guys. His dad had sex with his mom. (laughs) And then Kyle's like, shut the fuck up, Cartman. All right, anyway, I love it. That's great. So please. Uh, So I was offered this part. I show up, there's like, I want to say there was like 12 of us children that all looked vaguely similar. Oh, and they put us all in cheerleader costumes. Oh, nightmare, we like nightmare. went into a recording studio and we recorded the song for it. That's all of our Did tiny you do child it all voices. the same day? It might have been two days. I think it was two days. We had all of our tiny tw- child voices and they taught us a little dance routine to it. And there was a video of, um, I believe it was Tim doing the dance. That's how they taught it to us. They, just sent, us a vi- they just sent us a video of Tim do doing still the have dance. That? Uh, my mother might somewhere in her, in, in, in the, the old emails or something that would be I, I wonder if I'd get in trouble for releasing it probably um, so yeah it was just a video of him doing the dance and they were like learn this <laughs> and get in here and do it and I had no idea I had no idea what it was going to be and then a few years later it got posted on YouTube as well so there was like a resurgence of this clip the, the yeah, clip yeah, yeah. from the show yeah yeah and yeah. it was long before like I was making internet content but like and and it was decently early YouTube uh, and reading the comments on that was one of the most um, oh no horrifying experiences of my teenage I can't years even freaking imagine because at oh, that point i know because at that point i'm like 15 probably Not okay right? and then you're like oh my god i didn't know wow and it's like people would just leave time like they would leave a time stamp with a creepy message so you would be like you would be clicking through time stamps you would be clicking through time stamps and being like hey i hope this comment's not about oh it's me i hate this oh i hope i hope this creepy (laughs) one's not about me let's see who they said oh no that's me no I, okay. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. So that was really that was a really interesting uh, part of it. But other than that, it's mostly just people every once in a while being like, <laughs> "Joe, let's go hunting perverts." <laughs> wait, can I come hunting perverts? Yeah, but it's too dangerous. Oh wait, maybe you could be our like, our like, uh, you know, who's like? Remember when uh, when Chris Hansen would mm-hmm. would ca- to catch a predator? Are you gonna use me as bait? Is that yeah, what you're yeah, saying? You're bait. You're use me as yeah, bait. Yeah, That's fine. I play sixteen on TV. We have to come up with a more politically bad. correct yeah, yeah. version for bait. Where okay, we do that. Um, Team lead. <laughs> Team lead. Okay. Are you making a call? Oh, what's happening? What's happening? He's doing a FaceTime call. Oh, God. Who are you FaceTiming? You from the past. I want to tell you not to take <laughs> He's that He's FaceTiming role. Tim Heidecker. <laughs> and we're going to talk to him. And I'm like, what is this incredible technology? Hey. Hello? Hi. Hi. You're on the podcast. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just calling to let you know you can never do anything on the internet ever again. <laughs> oh, it's his daughter. Okay. All right. <laughs> You understand me? You stay off the internet. You got it? No. 
It's like what I'm doing right now is incredibly hypocritical because I'm telling you to stay off the internet, but this is going directly on it. But you stay <laughs> off the damn internet. You got it? Yeah. Because of her. I mean, I can also recommend staying off the internet. It's probably for the best. And Don't him. you recognize her from iHeart? Okay, Huckabee's stop. Internet. I hate this so much. I want to. I, I love I, you. I, bye. I have. I have to go home now. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, Dude, Don't you recognize her from I Heart. Hayden so loves I Heart. You know that Huckabees. movie that all children have seen. Yeah, Hayden loves. It's her favorite movie. It's her favorite movie. Dude, it's I, everyone's. It's it's definitely someone's favorite movie. There is someone out there, and I, it's her. I could never be a parent. Uh, I couldn't either. It's just never gonna happen. Same. Again. <laughs> Again, yes. yeah, yeah. After it's fine. He re- <laughs> no, I mean, he's using it in the sense of like he hasn't been a parent. Yeah, you know, he never you know I mean? was a right, parent. Right, 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 right. Yeah. No, he, he made a kid, I, um, but he's not a parent. Can I and just say? He never will be. <laughs> it's a parent. You're not. I'll never accept I have death. to say that I absolutely love All the Food is Poison. Like, oh I God. watched it when I'm I'm a huge Tim and Eric fan. So okay. I love Tim and Eric Awesome Show. I've been watching it since it's been on on, on Adult Swim. <laughs> And so, I mean, all the food is poison is like one of my favorite. Wow. So, like, I'm looking Are you at how your, to catch a predator in yourself I'm looking at, right now. No, it's just that. Here's the thing. I'm I think looking he's definitely on a list for this. I'm <laughs> looking at your IMDb, and I was like, well, let's see. If there's something funny here we can talk about. Or something great that you can talk yeah, about. That just maybe... things to roast me for. No, no, it doesn't have to. No, dude, no, there's, please, that's there's, all that's there. There's zero roasting. Zero roasting. No, fucking roast me. There's no zero way. roasting happening right now. You're the most successful person on this table. What the fuck <laughs> no, are you talking about? No, no, we won't roast you until we get to miracles. But okay. we're but we're yeah, gonna yeah, of ta- course. But we're gonna talk it's about It's fine, it wasn't the insane clown posse video, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but too uh, bad. Holy shit. I know, right? That'd have been great. I've so, seen a strange influx of juggalos in Los Angeles lately, and I'm not sure what's happening. I that's know. not we gotta my topic, do something. But I'm I'm getting concerned. You know um, what it is? It's the housing problem. No, we have a meet and greet in a week. <laughs> so. No, no, like I'm hundred percent serious. In the last week I have seen four people out in public in insane clown posse gear, and then I had I mean what a, it's what, because what ever honest? since Trump, mental health care has been going down. Yes. I, uh, so anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I was scrolling through your list here of IMDb credits, and mm-hmm. I saw Tim and Eric, awesome show, great yeah. job, and then I saw Cheerleader. Yeah. And I was like, 100%, that's all the food is you are, Yeah, you knew it well enough like, to know what that Like, that's how well meant. I knew. I've yeah. never seen it, and I will watch it promptly It's got 1.2 million it. views <laughs> on, on YouTube, Joe. I wouldn't recommend it. And then wow. it's been taken down and put back up. We're going we're gonna to watch it. Oh, no, we're going to watch it? In um, front of her? Uh, no, we no, don't have later. to do that. I mean, you know, whatever. We're here now. We've talked about it. So, do you like it, though? Um, you know... You know, like is like is a tough term. It's fine. Are it's you just like doing that thing, thing where that like I don't like to see myself? Yeah, or yeah. yeah. It's okay, hard. I don't like that. I don't like seeing myself on camera. And it's also one of those two that like I never really watched the show. Like to this and day, still I see have clips it. from it. And Certainly that's it. was not aimed at your demographic. Mm-hmm. When no, you were no, no. In it. it absolutely was not for like twelve year old girls. It's like nightmare stuff. It's yeah, like yeah. In, it's like nightmare stuff extracted from an unwell. Right, exactly. Person. And like 24-year-old Sage is in for some nightmare stuff, but I think it's too late. Mm-hmm. And I think also I have this weird thing that like once I've been on a show, I can't just like start watching it. I don't know. I don't well, know why like I do that. Like, it's not like there's a narrative or anything. It's yeah, like I literally guess. bonkers madness. Right. With yeah, zero yeah. connection almost. I don't know. Something about it just feels so self-indulgent to be like, I don't know. I got really into the show that I was on once. I don't know. I never did it. I, honestly, I've always loved it when like you hear from the actors of a show mm-hmm. that they're like, I fucking love this show. Yeah. Like, I'm a fan. I don't yeah. even read the others. Like, I only read the parts that I need to read. Right, so they don't get because spoiled. Because I don't want to get spoiled <laughs> yeah, about yeah, shit. Yeah. But you could totally be a fan of your own shit. You should totally be a fan of your own shit. Maybe you'll get there. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe one of these days. But yeah, Tim and Eric's Awesome Show is very much just a thing that happened and a thing that I don't think about until somebody posts all the food is poison on an Instagram photo. And that's about it. So not many people know you were that was you were no, in No, not at all. So now they will, though. Unfortunately. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't be creepers and don't be asshole. I mean, it was fine. Like, it was just one of those things, again, that doesn't exist to me, really. Like, it's just, whatever. It's, it, to me, is so insignificant because I wasn't part of the fandom that I'm like, I don't know. It's a fucking bunch of kids it sitting around a job. cheerleading. It was a job. I, I mean, was 12. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. You're, you're totally doing that thing, and I'm doing that thing uh-huh. to you where, yeah. like, you're at a convention and you're like, I, I, I'm just here to make a quick buck or something. And someone <laughs> in the audience is like, in episode 347, <laughs> you had a thing in your throat. It sounded like you needed to clear your throat. Was that a story Why choice? Why didn't you clear your throat? <laughs> and he's wearing a shirt that says hashtag clear your throat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that personal or narrative? Yeah. But it's so interesting to me because, like, you know, I, uh, 
I'm such a big fan of it, but it sounds like you're just like, it's just a fucking job. Yeah, it was totally just a job. It's like, just it's, job. It's fine. Like, it's a funny thing to be a part of, especially as like an internet person now. I can appreciate like the meme culture of the internet. Uh, but like, that didn't exist at the time. Yeah, there it didn't exist meme at the time. Culture. This like, was you didn't 10 know years was ago. Be. You didn't worry about things being a meme when you did it. Yeah, this was over 10 years ago. Yeah. It was 2009. Right. So you didn't worry about things becoming a meme. Now no. you do something and you're like, wow, I hope that yeah. doesn't become a meme. Uh, and that was never a thing I would have thought of then. The only thing I remember from that set is that video of him dancing and getting there and then putting me in like a crop top one and then being like, oh, we can't do that. And having <laughs> to change it really quick to be like, it was it was to me them being aware of how yeah. th this video was going to be taken. There's some care there. Them being like, oh, okay, so this is already bad enough. Let's Let's take it one step back. Well, that's good. But I, it does still feel like it was intentional. It does, like there's no way that they were making that content and weren't like, this is gonna be, this is gonna be creepy. I mean, yeah. they. I, I mean, that was kind of their the thing. thing, right? It was I their mean, thing. I, I yeah, the way I looked at it was was like, this is the kind of stuff I want to be making. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. We'll get Steve a not cheerleader costume. Not specifically with children and not specifically that piece of content. I am but in favor of avoiding children whenever possible. Absolutely. But yeah, there's yeah. a thing, but Joe and I were talking about a thing that that we want to make maybe that might involve children. It's kind of a big, one of those ideas where oh, we're yeah. like, what if we did this? And it's really funny and really good. And like, I always love when you- It's that cliff scene in Midsummer, but yes. just kids. Right. <laughs> we, we, right. And real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the uh, internet. You got to step it up. You can't be faking. Did things. you? Did you? This is the last thing I'm going to ask you about it. Whatever. On on the podcast. She's after so this, over it's it. going to be. She is over. It. After no, this, I'm I doing will great. never One leave you alone. No, I'm doing great. <laughs> um, do you? Did you see it when it aired? Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I did. I don't think I saw yeah. it on TV when it aired. So like I would have been allowed seen... to watch it. I, my mom again. My mom didn't give a shit. Yeah. She was like, watch whatever, be in whatever. Do they it can in do her it. voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, okay. I mean, I, you were so much better. Watch at it. whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. I really give. I'm so glad that I ignored her call on the way here, and I got to hear her anyways. Um, I'm sorry. Do you, do you have any? <laughs> it nothing like her. It's perfect. What was your I Heart Huckabee's experience? Oh, do you man. remember that movie, Joe? I, re I barely I don't, I, remember. I don't remember. It. I also barely any remember specific it. <laughs> scenes. It was Lily Tomlin and uh, Mark, uh, Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg, yeah, David O. Russell, yeah. Jason Schwartzman. It was yeah. very um, uh, like waiting for Guffman ish, but not not improvisational. I, I remember seeing right? it mm -hmm. and being like, "Huh, I wish that was better." Yeah, same. Yeah, <laughs> that was also my thought when I watched it. So a couple of things. I have a, a good few memories from this. Uh, not good memories, but a good few of them. Um, so I played Mark Wahlberg's daughter in the movie. I was just his daughter. He was like getting into like going through a divorce and there were like a couple of scenes of them like dragging their kid around and yelling around me um, and me like crying. That was the thing for the first um, 10 years as an actor, all I did was cry essentially. Tim and Eric's awesome show is one of the only things I didn't cry were in. Were you like, I'm branching out. Yeah, I've, got, yeah. I've got range. <clears throat> I've got range. I, I cry and I don't one. cry. Did you just yeah, get yeah. those roles because you could do it? Like if yeah. You, right now, if we were like, cry on cue, could you probably yeah. do it? Yeah, yeah, wow. for sure. I can cry at any time. I'm what always a, sad. That's my secret. What a talent. Um, <laughs> what so, a talent. <laughs> you know, it's like the Hulk, but <clears throat> exactly. about depression. Exactly. It's incredible. <laughs> Which is kind of what the What Hulk's a superpower. So yeah, I could cry easily. In addition, I think there was just some Thing about like the way I looked as a child I looked like the very like typical all-american kid with like the freckles and like the little braids mm -hmm. and I was very like um like, like could have been any could have been anybody's yeah. kid I was yeah. could have been anybody's kid so yeah. I was go-to victim child. even mine huh. yeah yeah <laughs> I could have been Steve's <laughs> child if he had showed up <clears throat> you um, son of a bitch. I'm sorry I told you I don't like kids <laughs> and she understands that I do understand that I also I don't like, like kids projecting. I get it from my father no we have an understanding <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It runs the, in the family. We're the only father daughter daughter <laughs> daughter. We're the yeah. only father daughter team that has an understanding of why we're not in each other's lives. <laughs> exactly. The only one, yeah, and yeah. it works. Right. Yeah, yeah. We're slowly reconnecting. It brings we us realize closer we have together. a lot of mutual friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! You're friends with my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Every time from now on, because I had somebody the other day be like, "Oh, you're you're friends with Steve Zaragoza uh, at like a, at a goth club oh, the other nice. night." A random friend of mine who also is an internet person, and she was like, "I didn't realize that you and Steve were friends because she had seen you on my story from being on my show." And I feel like I wish at the time I'd been like, "Oh, my dad, my dad." And I want to <laughs> let you know, I want to let you know that I'm about to run through Los Angeles and tarnish your, reputa your reputation in that way. And every time somebody says like, "Oh, you know Steve," I'm yeah. gonna be like, "My dad? Yeah, my dad? Yeah, yeah, I know him. I mean, we, we reconnected a little later needs in life." To just help <laughs> spread this rumor. I'm, I'm begging. I you, had a friend of you. when I was pretty young, younger than you are now, younger than 14. Younger than fourteen, yeah, I was twelve or so, and I fourteen and a half. And Come I on. made Thank a, you. I 
became friends with this guy who was much older than me, but not like mm-hmm. creepy older. Okay. Like he could be my older brother. Okay. And not he started to just tell people that I was his brother. Oh, yeah. And sweet. so we just like everyone knew me as his brother and we talked yeah. about how we were brothers, mm-hmm. but it was just a big joke and no yeah. one ever, but people truly believed it because yeah. it was like, we kind of looked like we could have been related. And who are they to question? Who are they to be like, I don't know. I might not yeah. be like, if someone's like, hey, this is my brother, somebody's gonna yeah, be like, like, but are they? <laughs> right. Is he really right. your brother? <laughs> yeah. I feel like I he know. might not be. I feel right. like he could be lying to me. Yeah, who knows though? But um, okay, so anyway, yes. So yeah, so, so I heard Huckabee's played Mark Wahlberg's daughter. I don't know. Got tossed around, cried a little bit. Um, I remember them distinctly uh, having to sit and I remember being sad about it because they were shoving dirt under my fingernails. I had to look like I was really poorly taken care of and I remember being really bummed that my yeah. fingernails looked ugly. Yeah. Um, that was like the things you like, worry about as like a nine year old. Yeah. yeah. I was probably like nine. Um, and then I remember, so there's a very famous clip from I Heard Huckabees of David o. Russell um, throwing a fit on set yes, uh, it's him Tom. getting into a fight oh, with Lily yeah. Tomlin it's him like throwing things off of the yeah. desk and then just going at it so A he was drunk on set every single day it was very entertaining super nice to me <laughs> super nice right. to me super nice dude but like that's just like the stories everyone tells about it is everyone's like yeah 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 he showed up drunk and he yelled a I lot totally and I'm like man that. he was real nice to kids though dude liked kids okay, everyone, well, was, that's good. everyone was absolutely delightful to me on set however I do remember hearing that fight happen and I was like sitting in the room like, next door there? like I was just sitting there with my mom <laughs> and we were just listening to things being thrown and screaming and I was just like I don't know I'm just like all right no way yeah yeah, yeah. and so were I do you just that happening what were you thinking like this is just Hollywood yeah pretty much I think I was already jaded enough to just be like yeah well <laughs> did your mom say something like don't worry about it or anything like that like no I mean she was probably just there like uh, I don't know. I think I think that was just something we both sat through together and both yeah, like, I, I always had this certain level of like, you're the only kid on set, so you have to be a professional. Like you have to overcompensate so much for being right. the only kid on set because I wasn't doing kids programming. Like I wasn't working mm-hmm. on Nickelodeon and Disney. These were adult projects I was the only kid on. She's like that little kid <clears throat> in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. <laughs> right, I was yeah. kind of thinking that, yeah. yeah. That's what you had to be. So you had to like overcompensate and be like an adult and like nothing had to phase you. So you had to be like, yeah, whatever. People are yelling. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What am, what am I nine? I gotta get on my mark and make sure I'm at my one. <laughs> exactly. So I don't I don't really remember the reaction to it, but I do remember it happening. Yeah. And I think everyone else on set, like I just kind of remember PA's rushing around, just kind of being like, oh, okay, <laughs> it's fine. We'll just maybe we'll just set up over here. How, how did that get mm-hmm. out? Like the cameras were rolling, and oh, then I don't they know. I just know I forgot rolling. how it got out. I, I don't can't because it was before it. like video cell phones or something. No, wasn't no, it? no, 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 no. I don't think so. No, I mean, well, what year was I heard? Let me, let I'm me probably see. the let one who should know that, and I don't. Um, I don't know. I don't. I think it was a low enough quality video that Here, I don't recall li- it being I'll, from like the proper camera. No, I'll, yeah. I'll play like a little so. bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's weird. That's I never so... answered your texts again. After uh, this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know why. The reason why I brought up. You're, listen, I'm sorry we bombarded you with your IMDb credits Come and shit, me. but we're I'm done with that. I because, started this by saying I have no shame. I, I exist on the internet. This well, is I didn't know her, that yeah. you had done things when you were a child. Oh, you were I didn't know. Yeah. Um. So it's pretty cool to find that out, and I will never leave you alone about. Did you make perfect. the jump because it was? like a sense of freedom, like I have control, I don't have to wait for everybody's yeses and noes and this is my thing, or was it more I get to do my thing, as in you're into nerd culture and streaming and games and and Oof. all that stuff. Like, what was the reasoning for your jump? So it's actually a pretty big question. So like, I was a nerd my entire life, but like being a part of like the entertainment industry, like it wasn't in any way be cool to be a 12 year old that played Magic the Gathering. Like that was not a cool thing mm-hmm. to be, especially as a girl. Uh, so I didn't get to be a nerd and I didn't have a lot of nerd friends. Um, oh, so you had to hide <clears throat> your nerd dumb. Yeah, 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 100%. So nobody knew I was a nerd growing up whatsoever. Nobody probably knew until I was like 19. Wow. Um, and like, I mean, now I play Dungeons and years. Dragons as like part of my job. Exactly. So five mm-hmm. years from now, I'm thinking I'll be able to talk about playing Dungeons right. and Dragons publicly. Um, so were you <laughs> friends with uh, with nerds, but but... Or were you trying to avoid the whole nerd I lifestyle like, I didn't at all? Know any. I just didn't know oh, any. Oh, I we were see. All just like, we were all little like robot actor yeah. kids, and a lot of them didn't have like a lot of personalities and interests of their own. Totally. They were just like, I don't know, I have lines to learn. And I was like, oh, is this a f-? yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm, I didn't I didn't want to talk about Dragon Ball Z either. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> um, so it was actually, it was a weird thing. Um, there was a casting call that went out for a show that that shall not be named. Um, Three's Company. It was, it was Three's Company. <laughs> it was an internet show, and it was 
my first time experiencing something in live video streaming. Video game high school. It was, it was all of those things. It was Three's Company's Video Game High School episode. That was the <laughs> thing that actually spawned the idea for that show later. It was incredible. 1994 was a wonderful year. <laughs> Uh, and I was there. Um, Jesus. So I, I, I got called into audition for this show and they were looking for nerd girl hosts. And that was something like I self-submitted for and I never like really self-submitted for things, but I knew my agent wouldn't know to submit me for it. So I was like, mm-hmm. wait. Ooh, they take want control of your life. Ooh, they what a turning point. This is great. They want girls that are nerds. Come How to find exciting. out, I was really just there to be a prop. Um, uh, <laughs> that was the main thing. I was like, we're going to get to play video games. I did not get to you play video games. The source fed model. No, no, the early, <laughs> the early nerddom on the internet yeah. and on TV where, yeah, And I had heard was, of Twitch, yep, yep, but yep, I didn't yep. know that it was real. Like, I didn't know anything about it. I'd never been on it. Um, I knew of, like, some of the biggest streamers, but, like, it wasn't something Kitty that I watched pie. or consumed. Um, so... Exactly. I'm like, I knew about PewDiePie probably. That was it. So I did this show and I was like, well, well, this is one step closer to things I like. Like I get to be around people who talk about video games Ooh. and I made a lot of nerd friends through it that were really, really cool. And it's definitely like expanded my social circle. And when that show ended, um, I had a lot of the audience from that show that were like, hey, you should you should stream. And I was like, nah, nobody's going to watch it. Uh, and one of my best friends literally brought his gaming PC over to my house and he sat down and he was like, great, you're streaming tonight. What a sweetie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You incredible. had that friend that helped I had you take that the friend. next step. I had that friend. I really, really did. And Aww. I'm very, very grateful for it because he literally brought, like I didn't have a gaming PC. I played mostly on console and it's very hard to stream through that. Um, as in, which Isn't that what you guys stream on? You guys streamed on console st- previously? Yeah, 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 yeah. We still do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we use, it's a, hard. PC. We use a PC, but mm-hmm. we, we it's P, it's PS4 and yeah, Switch. Yeah. Right. So I was streaming, like I, I was streaming on my friend's PC and like people showed up and they watched and I was really, really surprised. And for the first like few months of streaming though, like it was so hard to shift out of like being a host or being Mm -hmm. um, like an actor. You had to find you again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, wait, what if I, and it's just like, it slowly broke. Like you spent so much time on the internet that slowly like the like version of me that I want to be live on the internet broke, man. And I was just kind of like, I don't know, today I'm just here. I think I think that was- Because you were exhausted. You are like, fuck it. (laughs) I was streaming till 4 a.m. And it was like, we're gonna get real, really, really real here. Like I went through a breakup of a four and a half year relationship Relationship and I didn't stop streaming. I mean, not like literally during my stream. Uh-huh. Imagine we broke up live on the you internet. Had to go. <laughs> I just wouldn't, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't end stream. That's I was good really content. committed. Uh, no, I but have like... a clip of it actually right here. <laughs> I'm gonna play it. Oh uh, yes, I remember this. This is when he left. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's why I was so sick of love songs for so long. Um, so it was just one of those things that like I was like, I'm still gonna stream. This is my job now. I'm not gonna let it get in the way. And I like showed up one day and I was like, there's no. I could either just show up and I could be sitting here and like they'll know something is wrong and I can be like I don't know what you're talking about guys that's great or I can be like I don't know mm. here's where we're at um, <laughs> <laughs> so I think that like got me a lot closer to it and then since then I've been working on shows that are more nerd focused like my whole life I've loved comic books I've loved tabletop games I love video games um, and now I get to call it my job but however I still go home for Christmas and this is something I've definitely talked about on stream because it's my favorite story of this this of recent times I went home for Christmas and I was sitting next to my sister at the dinner table and um, her daughter was like I think I want to play Dungeons and Dragons because can we just talk about how cool it is that there is a resurgence of D&D. I know, it's, it's finally great. cool. It's finally cool. It took so long. It's finally cool. So my niece is like, I think I want to try D&D. And my sister looked at her and she said, absolutely not. Everyone I've ever met that played D&D is a fucking loser. <gasps> and I was... <laughs> <laughs> so my older sister. My sister's oh, 10 years older than me. <laughs> my sister's oh. 10 years older than me. And so I was she's sitting, 17. <clears throat> Exactly. My sister's 17. Steve, I'm only seven. you were there to have fostered a relationship between them. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's really confusing that you have one that age as well. Yeah, um, we won't talk about we it. We don't need to. It's fine. Uh, and, I, and I looked at her and I was like, hey, uh, you know, I played, you know, I played Dungeons and Dragons, right? And she was like, well, I don't mean like you. I mean like people who are really into it. And I was like, oh, actually, it's my job. Um, wow. <laughs> and she was like, "Hi, I'm Sage. you know what I mean." <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. I like, Actually, I play I play Dungeons and Dragons Ooh. for a part of my living. Like it's um mm. it's a big part of my job. And she was like, "You know what I mean." And I was like, "I think that's the problem. Mm. I think the problem is I do know what Ooh, you mean." Yes. Uh, so I'm absolutely determined to get my niece in a D and D game. Wow, that's, that's so her. great. 100. I bet you could convert your sister. I think we could. I think that she needs to sit down. She was like, "I don't understand investing in playing pretend." My 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 family does not is not in the entertainment industry. My family is not involved in this mm, in any and way. They so don't it's very understand. Different. They don't get it. like my mom gets it. Right. My mom uh, like very much was with me growing up and going to auditions and things like that. But my sister is just everything the opposite of me, and she doesn't get it. She's like, I just don't understand the like investing and pretending to be something. I'm like, okay, so you're watching a show, you're you're experiencing these characters, and when your favorite character died on a show, you you cried. That's investing in playing pretend. You 100%. know these people, they're not real. And she was like, 
Oh my god! It's not D and D. Fucking nerd. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And Don't then talk she, to my kid. And then she kicked me in the shins and stole my lunch money, <laughs> and uh, I went back home. I think this is a perfect segue into something that I wanted to talk Ooh, about, I love if this. I may. Thank you because... for opening up and telling us all about yeah, that stuff. Yeah, That's and cool. I and I think I'm sure more will come out of this particular conversation. Let's but do it. because you mentioned that. Um, you, uh, your niece was mm. like, I want to get into D and D. Yeah, kind of the same thing happened with our friendship, because it's you, precious. your job is D and D. Essentially, mm-hmm. you play D and D all the time. Yeah, and I was like, Well, shit, I want to play D and D. I've never really done like a real D and D campaign. Like I did like the stuff with Mod on SourceFed Nerd, and then I did this like pirate thing mm-hmm. that was kind of like done for me in a way. You just okay. never went down. Lifted up your boot straps and went for I, it. I've yeah. dabbled. Like I, I He's re- dabbled. A multi night campaign. I have dungeons and dabbled. <laughs> Get a dungeon master to just straight up fuck you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. And everyone wonders why my family doesn't support it. <laughs> but I. It's uh, just a weird sex cult. Dungeon listen, masters. Mom, I think I'm gonna send that to my, is... my the clip to my sister and my mom. <laughs> The fucking is like the last thing you do, Mom. I mean, it's it's a story a while to tell to here. Yeah. I know what you're doing with yeah, your yeah. elves and your goblins. <laughs> D&D are like the storylines in porn. No daughter of mine's going to be sleeping with a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like instead of the pizza man showing up in porn, it's just it's goblins. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're like, so you enter a dungeon. It's no just, riddles there's with there's that ball, troll under the, the bridge. It's just the, balls. It's the kid with missing teeth from Stranger Things. Yes. He just comes over and, and says Oh, like, no, this got worse. This got um, worse. But, I um... Like it. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about Finn Wolfhard. But no, uh, the uh, so I came to you. Which and was is like, a porn name? Which is a porn name? Yeah. <laughs> yes. No. Jizz Wolfhard. Okay, now, you're, now you're both on a list. Yes, I'm sure are. of it. Yes, we are. You should see. The I'm list the bait for the to catch a predator thing. Don't forget it. Um. But uh. Well, we. we I'm sorry. Team lead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm team lead for to catch a predator. But uh. We. So yeah. I came to you and was like, I want to play D and D, and I want to hang out with a D and D group, and yeah. And, and we're in a text thread right now where we're going to do some kind of yeah, something very soon. Mm-hmm. But this this was like right around the time that Cats was in theaters. It sure is. And so, um, and then you and I started to talk about Cats. Oh, it was great. It was and a great our night. mutual love for Cats. So much love. And then the crazy idea was suggested because mm-hmm. of your friend Kaylee. Yeah. That maybe a D and D cats campaign, yeah, yeah, would be possible. So you had posted on Instagram that you were seeing cats for, I believe, the third time. Mm-hmm. I think it was the third time, and I had messaged you because I had just seen it for the first time, and I was like, "Holy shit, we got to talk about cats." Yeah. Um, and I had asked earlier in the day. I think we had just had a conversation. And I was like, "You ever played D and D?" And you were like, "No, I want to play with the right people. I like, I need people that'll let me be an idiot." Yeah, because yeah, I yeah. played too many games with people that were like, "You can't be jokey. Oh, no, you got to be serious." I well, love a joke. Not D&D it's not yeah. fun. I got to be able to joke D&D. around and be yeah. like, and make jokes. I've got friends that do it every once in a while, and they are that jokey group too. Yeah. And the girl that I know is with John Payne's wife. She's like, yeah, I always just try to like show my tits to the, <laughs> to the wall monster, and I roll yeah. for it every single time. Yeah. That's so <laughs> that's great. That's not a thing you can do. That's, that's the joys of it. Uh, yeah. So so it came up, and then I was like, I was on the phone with Kaylee, and I was messaging with you about cats, and I was telling Kaylee we need to take her to see cats, um, and uh, she was like. What? Uh, I, 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 told, I told her two things. I was like, A, we got to take you to see cats, and B, we got to run an actually fun D and D game for Steve because yes. Steve has the wrong idea of D and D, and I can't live with that. Like when somebody's like, I've played D and D, but it was all wrong. I was like, I feel personally responsible to fix this. I need a like dumbass, fucking jokey, like no yes. rules D and D campaign for you. And she was like, Well, we could do a cats one. And I was like, Hold on. <laughs> I mean, as soon as you sent. Mm-hmm. That message that yeah. was like cats RPG. Cats RPG. My brain <laughs> like went into that thing that happens when some really good bad idea <laughs> is suggested, and I was like, "Fuck!" I've been trying to think of a way to bring D and D to the Valley Folk Channel in some way, mm-hmm. and I was talking to you guys about um, there's like a Star Wars. RPG. Yeah. I forgot what it's called. It's like something of there's the Empire. Of and yeah. Yeah. There's one that's like Rebels and one that's Empire or yeah. like Resistance and Empire or whatever. Mm-hmm. Star War RPG. <laughs> yes. There's yeah, a Star War RPG. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, I guess I'll just bring that and then see if we can get Mod and, and you know, maybe get Sam involved. And, and I, you know, I was casually looking into it because I was like, you know, this is something we'll do, but right. down the road. Yeah. And it's like, it's topical. D&D is getting more popular. Totally. And, and people have asked too. I mean, yeah. we've put up some 
some very loose card game type mm-hmm. stuff on the channel and people seem to like it and it, and it reminds them of Everyone's the days bad when, at holding cards they're just falling everywhere <laughs> yeah, they're loose like, card I games like, oh, oh. slutty card games <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, a real um, tramp of a card game loose. don't slut shame those card games <laughs> but uh, yeah and so people were just like we want to see more of this stuff and mm-hmm. I love doing it and so I was like fuck I, we gotta do it so mm-hmm. when this cats thing came up I was like that's it and I when mean, I suggested it, it it wasn't for content it was just like let's, let's do this for it. us yeah yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, "Yeah, but what if we made it yeah, in the yeah. content?" And you were literally like, "Can we film it?" And I was like, "Yes, <laughs> so sure." We so we did that. We did that. We did it. And yeah, it's, it's it's in progress. And it took like what a month or something. It took or it, less than it a month. It only took longer because you were out of town for a lot. Of yeah, it. we went you on were tour. Out of town. You guys mm-hmm. were on tour. Yeah. So like we we didn't really get the month to plan it. <laughs> Basically, I was like, "These are the problem. These are the roadblocks for yeah, me." Yeah, yeah. I do not know a DM mm-hmm. or a GM or uh-huh. whatever. And I do not know anything about Dungeons and Dragons. Right. And I was like, I know a DM and everything about Dungeons and Dragons. I and I was you. like, great. So Sage went to Kaylee, her good mm-hmm. friend, who who is our DM. Yeah, in the campaign. In the campaign. And you guys like came up with a yeah, story. Yeah, we wrote the and world a together. Structure and, yeah. Yeah. And you and created this thing. We How did. fun. And in order Love to it. do so, I had to see Kat so many more times, which I'm so grateful <laughs> for. Um, it's very, very important to me. I'm glad that that happened. And it wouldn't mm-hmm. have happened in any other way. Like, I wouldn't have been able to convince people to see it with me that many times in any other scenario. If it wasn't for some kind of work-related exactly. reason. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And that's how I'm also able to justify it. I'm like, ah, I could see it again. It's work. Now. Exactly. So, so the second time I took Kaylee, I was like, well, now Kaylee has to see the movie because we're about to do this thing, right? <laughs> right. And well, as Kaylee we walking, has experience with cats also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both grew up, both of our moms loved cats growing up. Cats is a mom <laughs> play. Uh-huh. Cats is a mom play. That's what I remember. 100% it. a mom play. We had a cat named Deuteronomy growing up. That's okay? amazing. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. 100%. I had, we, I I told I told you this before my mom had a cat's t-shirt that I remember her like trying to give to me as like a teenager as if it was some sort of family heirloom that's like, crazy you can have my cat's t-shirt from mom, when you're gonna, I saw cats and I was like no thank you you're gonna get me beaten up exactly. that's so nuts. I'm homeschooled and I'm still gonna have someone steal my lunch money if I put this on <laughs> yeah, someone gonna will be just my... <laughs> come over and be like <laughs> yeah. excuse me we, we had a <laughs> we had a feeling some nerd is wearing a cat's shirt in yeah. here yeah it's just a knock at the door <laughs> at 3pm my dad was a huge rent fan so we had a cat oh. Oh. That dude that died from AIDS. That's a great. That's a wonderful name for a cat. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was shortened to just AIDS. God, might as well have named it Max. <laughs> So it was shortened to AIDS. So as I'm going to AIDS. see, as I'm going to see it with Kaylee, it's going to be calling out to AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> the thing you did to me when you got it. <laughs> Missing oh, AIDS. Oh, oh no. Um, oh. So as I'm going to see it the second time, we can you laugh about me. AIDS now. It doesn't kill people anymore. Is that? Man. Is oh, that? They're just jokes. <laughs> What happened to, sorry, continue, continue. What happened to AIDS? Coyotes got it. <laughs> Coyotes were the answer to everything as a kid. Well, you know, one day we just left the door open. And <laughs> AIDS never gone. came home. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Uh, I love it. Continue, perfect. Please, no notes. Steve, you're just going to let AIDS lick you right there on the mouth. <laughs> God, you got a lot of fur on you. Yeah, I know. AIDS. <laughs> Yeah. What can you do? It just <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> just yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, no. AIDS won't stop giving it to the other neighborhood cats. Oh, no. <laughs> I just wake up in the middle of the night. AIDS is scratching at my face. <laughs> Goddamn litter of AIDS running around. Yeah yeah. What's that? What's that scratch on your arm from? Uh, AIDS. AIDS. Did you hear AIDS is pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm done. That's enough. That's enough. Oh! <laughs> As we're going to see the film a second time, I'm seeing it for my second time. Steve messages me and says, "Hey, we got a big no, group of people no, going AIDS tomorrow." AIDS died. How? <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Okay. Sorry. 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 I'm so. I'm sorry for everything. I'm so sorry, everybody listening. I'm not. <laughs> Our esteemed guest. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Your uh, mother. <laughs> my mother specifically. So, so I had not texted to watch you. This. I've roasted her too much. So I had texted you about the Sarah Weichel's husband. Um, yeah. <laughs> Whatever fuck. that is. We, this is. We get so in trouble. For, sorry, Sarah Whittle's husband. Sarah okay. Weichel. I know. I get. It's just too. I know White, Sarah, Sarah Weichel. I know Sarah Whittle. Sarah Weichel. It's W's. <laughs> it fucks me up. I've mm-hmm. got Star Wars character names in my brain, and there's no room for real Same, people. Same, honestly. So it's hard yeah, for me yeah. to get real people's names. <laughs> but Sarah, um, Sarah Whittle's husband. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
booked the whole theater yeah. and then we and I, I invited you and Kaylee yeah and then we all saw it together the, it was a rowdy huge, screening it was group. great and then um I mean long story short it I, happened I basically was like here's our cast yeah if you know another girl it'd be great to bring in a friend and you brought yeah. your friend yeah and we were not we won't say who's in it yet, okay? Because I still want that to kind of be a surprise. Surprises. But you don't even know if I'm. I feel in like it. you tweeted out a picture. Who I cares? tweeted out a picture, but like no one Did really you? knew what it was. I don't even know if I saw that you well, it out was a like a really cryptic thing that was just like, "How big is a cat?" Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was spelled out, and within the letters, you could see a oh. screenshot of the game. Oh okay. yeah, I don't think I saw I'll, that. I'll show it to okay. you. A lot of people right, just didn't really attention. notice it. I'll go retweet it now. <laughs> but um, but yeah, you can kind of see who's in it when you look at that. But yeah, yeah. We have all these crazy guests and it's a four episode epic fucking thing. We we shot it all on a Saturday. It's insanity. It was like what? Like six hours of shooting? (laughs) Yeah. It was nonsense. uh, We didn't have a printer and I had to go sit at the like hotel across the street in their lobby and be like, could you guys just like print some D&D character sheets for me? And this woman was like, so what are you doing? (laughs) And I was like, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons. And she was like, like. Do you guys dress up? As I'm sitting there with like cat ears on, and she's like, "Do you guys dress up?" No, not absolutely. I was like, not. Well, t- I was like, "Well, typically, no." Today we. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so if I you was... could just print that, that would be great. I'd, I'd, <laughs> if I could get on my way, that would be wonderful. Thank no, you. No, I play English. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we we took an entire Saturday and mm-hmm. we shot all this crazy shit. And there's all these fun guests and shit. And right now, Drew Coombs, mm-hmm. old editor from SourceFed Nerd, Drew whom? <laughs> Drew Coombs. Oh, we're call him old. Um, but he's uh, he's working on it right now. Yeah. And you're here to watch a po- uh, the Cut pilot. one. Yeah, that was kind of the original idea. I was like, I want to come over and watch how dumb it is. Yeah, um, well, I, s- I watched it with Alana, uh-huh. and Alana was like, I don't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> And it's like kind of a big mess right now, but I, it'll it'll work out. We're gonna we're Dude, gonna cut one. That's what I say when people ask one. me how I'm doing. <laughs> it's a know, kind, of, kind a of a big mess right now, but and nobody it'll work gets out. it. Nobody gets it, but it'll work out. It'll get there. Yeah, after some around. trimming and a yeah, couple yeah. of assets and yeah, a I've lower third. <laughs> <laughs> I've been given some notes. I've been given some notes. There are improvements to be made. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but anyway. That was like editing terms that you shouldn't use when describing your wife. I know, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> some trimming, <laughs> s- some lower third. Yeah, a little work yeah. on the lower third. <laughs> gonna, no, I'm going to shut up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but uh, yeah, mm-hmm. so... So yeah, we have a cats RPG. We have a cats RPG coming out, and it was fantastic. And you're very fun to play with. Well, thank you, Sage. Yeah. And you fucking killed it. We like, had fun. I'm excited to see. I'm terrified to see it though. Also, <laughs> and Kaylee and everybody else killed it. Oh, I well, mean, Kaylee is great. Yeah, Kaylee's a wonderful DM. I, I mean, love she with just her. really like did a great job. Yeah, yeah. She jumped right into that world. She really did. Yeah. She wore mouse everybody ears. Everybody did. Everybody did. Yeah, yeah. We were just ready to be jellical. Yeah, we were born to be jellical. <laughs> Would you consider to- yourself jellical, Joe? I've never seen anything cats. I almost performed <gasps> in the play Cats as oh a youngin God. when I was a dancer, and oh then God. I quit dancing right before uh, we were about to do so it. So you Damn. haven't seen the movie, the new one? I haven't seen it yeah, at all. Gonna... I know what it's all about. I've heard some of the music. I'm pretty sure I played some in band back in the day. Oh, man. I'm pr- I'm pretty virginical. <laughs> we need so, to show you cats. Can we, yeah, can we take him to a rowdy screening? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm willing not, to hit we'll number five for that. We'll never get him to a screening. Really? Sure you no? Will. no? No, no. We yeah, got sure we got to bring we got to like will. Hey Joe, we, hey Joe, hey Joe would, would you go would you go see cats with us? Yes. No, Joe has to be tricked. Trust me, I, I mean, know. That's not already tri- said. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that is trickery. He said yes I he said like every fun thing I've ever done. He said yes on the internet. I think that is being tricked. Will you give down? Joe, will you give me a ride to the hospital next to David Buster's? I'm sick. Uh, but listen, we're at, we're cut, we've cut through an hour. We're in oh, an man. hour and four minutes. And so, there's I mean, so much we didn't talk about. there's I'm so, so much we didn't talk about. There's so much that we could have talked about, but there's so much that we did talk about. Yeah. I cannot believe all the wonderful I things like that I we never found shut out my about. Mouth. <laughs> no, you were great. No, every, this was a great episode we because. We effectively interrupted you uh, very rudely a number of times Perfect. and it broke I everything up. So we're okay. That's what I want. And here's a clip of that. All right. Anyway, so Sage, mm-hmm. please come back because we have more to talk about. We have tons more to talk about. And maybe we'll get to the structure of the show next time. <laughs> um, but that's nobody's fault. We had a great episode. I think you're a wonderful guest. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Yeah. Thank Happy you for your here. time. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, fun. I think you're great. I think you're a very you're talented great. person. I think you're great. And Thank I you. love mm. what you do. And I will watch your career with great interest. Stop. 
and uh, I'm her father. Just Joe. turn it down. <laughs> like, turn it down to like I'm a seven. No, he's he's finally proud of me. Let me have. Can this, I just okay? be taken, just embarrassing? Can I be a dad a for once? It's please? taken somewhere between oh. seven and fourteen years. You don't years. get to choose <laughs> when to be a dad. Yeah, you are just a dad. Oh, that's Let's nice. do shit in tunnels. My son's I mean, in the other good. room. And like, what's wrong? <laughs> I will just say really quick of how I know Steve was literally just that he followed me on Instagram or on Twitter. It was on Twitter or Instagram. One of those. And I yeah. was like, I knew who you were. And I was like, oh shit. I knew who you were before cool. you knew who I was. Yeah. I was like, I knew who you were just from like being a nerd on the internet and seeing you around in content. And I was like, right. oh shit, Steve knows who I am. That's kind of cool. Ooh, you made it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, a big yeah. deal. <laughs> no, I was like, I was I really though. I was like, I was like, Aww. I don't know why he's following me. Oh, that's that's great. Is rad. Uh, it must have been because of a friend, mutual friend, it must or have something, been. yeah, or some kind of thing, yeah, or like remember. content that was going um, out around the time or something. Who knows? Both part of. Sage, do the real fun, gross part. Where can mm-hmm. they all find you and do all that stuff? Oh yeah, I'm at Not Sage on everything. N O T S A I G E. I'm on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram, and uh, also on uh, Twitch.tv slash SideQuest for my my new show. Cool. Yeah, please yeah, go which, see. Uh, Steve was on very recently. Yeah, it was second very, very breakfast. Fun. And uh, anytime that you want to come and eat cereal and uh, love cereal, yeah, play you got to do me, it. You're, I'll do it. I would love that. Yeah, you I'll just, try to keep Steve up. Three hours, back. you said. Three yeah, hours. It's three hours. But there's like segments. Not a sprint. Not a sprint. Not a sprint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, segments. There's things that you do. Like we did a we did you know, a bits. reading of a Hobbit scene from Lord of the Rings. Which was so cringy. It was beautiful. Fun. Yeah, 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 I'm down. Absolutely. Hell yeah. And he was on like one, like you were on like the third episode ever. The yeah. show is slowly getting to make more sense, very slowly. Uh, oh, cool. I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's malleable it. in real time. Very um, much so. But now we're going to do a stream with you. Yeah, let's do a live so stream. We're going to play some games. And when then... you hear this, we will have already done it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but we'll tease the podcast and stuff oh, like but that. But we should also have her come on uh, your show. Well, we have sure. yeah everything as well as any other the board games. Yeah. That we play Once and stuff. the cat stuff rolls out, mm-hmm. hopefully people will have already seen you on our stuff and yeah. things like that. So That's that great. People are like, there she is. Like honestly, I love your guys' content very, oh, very much. I've sweetie. seen I've seen a, a a good bit of it for someone Thank who like you. doesn't have time to consume a lot of internet content. You. Yeah. Yeah. Are like the first people, like especially since I started talking to you, you're one of the first people that when I see you come up in my feed, I'll be like, yeah, let's see what the oh, hell Steve's working what on. A sweetie. Uh, so, so I'm, I think it's really cool to be here, and I'd be happy to be a part of anything that you guys are doing. Please, 100. Cool. percent the, the door is open to you. Oh, perfect! I snuck into the office. <laughs> yeah, that's how I snuck into the office. We couldn't afford a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, Sage, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. Please come back. <laughs> You don't need that. I'm just killing it. Where's the cat? He's not a dizzle.